All right. we're, we're, no, we're just trying to gather <laughs> ourselves to because this ourselves. is going to be oh. a roller coaster. Weddings are always full of emotion, mm. but there was not a single dry eye in the house when our next guests tied the knot. Yeah. I'm crying already. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Shoesmith surprised her deaf husband Scott by signing the lyrics to the song A Thousand Years. Take a look. Hopeless. 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 <laughs> it's really emotional. It's so beautiful. <laughs> um, now, that clip has been viewed <laughs> online more than two million times by me alone. <laughs> uh, and I'm pleased to say newlyweds Elizabeth and Scott join us now. Big round of applause for these two. <laughs> Liz. <laughs> Wow. Yes, thank you. Uh, how did that come about? Um, well, um, obviously Scott is deaf and, um, well, basically I wanted to do something really special for him on our wedding day. Uh, and throughout, I did, I did not know how to sign before I met Scott. Um, but, you know, I did some research once I started dating him into what it's like to be deaf and how to communicate with the deaf. And signing is so important because sign, uh, lip reading only gives you about 60% comprehension. But if I'm able to sign, um, that that increases that to 100%. And of course, I want him to understand everything I say. Um, and I just knew it would mean so much to him. Mm. On a lighter note, he tells me that when I sign, it turns him on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> Scott, Scott, what were you thinking and feeling when this happened? Uh, I had no idea. Like, you know, when I saw her at the end of the aisles, you know, she's like, blew me away. Absolutely, that. Like, yeah, totally gob gobsmacked there. So, yeah. Oh. oh well, we were all gobsmacked, no, no. I think. And uh, and you guys went on your honeymoon. Yes. And you came back, and there were more than two million views a week and a half later. Were you surprised? Were you surprised? Very surprised. Very, yeah. very, very surprised. Yeah. So we accidentally said it to public. So I don't even know how I did that. We only had 45 guests at the wedding, so it was a really intimate venue. Um, but we decided we've got a lot more friends of that, so we'll share the video so they could have experienced part of the ceremony as well. And somehow it went viral. <laughs> so it certainly wasn't our intention, mm. but there you go. Um, take us back to where you guys met. How did you meet? Tinder. We swiped right. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Best swipe right of our lives. <laughs> and did you know? That, did you know? No, he, he didn't tell me. Right. Yeah. We cut straight to the chase, and we said, "Let's have a date in 24 hours." Right. Let's go for a burrito. Um, and as you do, I stalked him leading up to the date, and. I discovered that he'd played for the Australian Deaf Wallabies. So my next immediate Google was, how deaf do you need to be to play in the Australian Deaf Wallabies? Mm -hmm. And it said 25%. So I'm like, okay, I, I can handle that. Like maybe, you know, workplace accident, hearing loss. But then I started to panic. What if he's profoundly deaf? What if he's nonverbal? How am I going to communicate? And I went through this whole process of working through my own prejudices and discrimination, my own biases. And I just said, right, well, OK, Elizabeth, you taught yourself the sign language alphabet when you were seven of mm. Cartoon Connection. So if you can remember that, it's a sign. Pardon the pun. Yeah. Um, it's a sign. And mm. I just basically was able to do the whole alphabet and I thought, that's it. I'm going on the date. And then you met in person. T tell us about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a hunk of hunk of bird <laughs> He's a whole lot of man. <laughs> The best excuse, because he was deaf, I had to touch his arm all the time to tell him I needed to speak to him. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very handsome couple, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. doubt about that. Um, tell us, so when you got back and you realised that everyone was looking at this video, and everyone was obviously very moved by this footage from the wedding day, for obvious reasons, yeah. uh, you've now decided to sell your wedding dress. That's right. Why and how? Look. Over the past two years with Scott, I've indirectly experienced the discrimination and exclusion that he experiences what as like? a deaf man. 
um, okay, at Blues Fest, we were in a line and someone came up to try to ask us to donate money and, and Scott didn't understand what he said and he said he's deaf. And the guy turned to me and said, why on earth would a deaf person come to a music festival? Mm. Mm. Um, I mean, he's been at work conferences and people are too afraid to sit at his table because there's an interpreter sitting next to him. Mm. You know, it's, they might be small things to us, but and that gets normalised for them, and I'm like, mm. no, that's not okay. Mm. Um, so off the back of those experiences, uh, and I established the Inclusive Foundation, which is about taking away us focusing on the labels of LGBTI, age, gender, disability, mm. ethnicity, religion. Stop using those labels because all it does is reinforce the differences and focus on creating a world where everyone's included. Mm. Oh, that's a beautiful beautifully message, said. isn't it? Amazing. Hey, um, the, the, look, obviously through necessity, you are constantly looking at her mm. um, and looking at her mouth. Um, reading her message at the time. Yep. Yeah. Um, that means that the connection is always there. It's heavy. Yeah, so I guess I said when we first started dating that was one of the most magical things yeah. in the relationship, that people would say, how do you communicate with him? I said, you have no idea. Our communication is heightened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am heard and seen in every word I speak. Whoa. I do not say anything Powerful. unless he's looking at me. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and I, don't mind, I, I hope you don't mind me saying, you're incredibly handsome. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> An incredibly handsome couple. Yeah, yeah. We can't take our eyes off either no, of you. No, no, it's just a, it's a beautiful thing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. It's um, such a beautiful story. Mm. And we'll share the details on how you can get involved in buying the dress and Fantastic. contributing to the Inclusive Foundation to yeah. our website. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming so in. So good. Oh, we will be watching your progress with that great interest. <laughs> oh, stop it, you two. <laughs> <laughs> it was always going to happen. <laughs> You've got to watch him, Liz. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. Right. Lovely to meet you.